Earth has not anything to show more fair. Dull would he be of soul who could pass by a sight so touching in its majesty. How do you teach Renaissance poetry to young people, many of whom might be our learners and might feel intimidated by the language, by the sonnet sequence? Well, I normally would make them read it aloud and you can have some startling responses. I think you can't do enough of it. I just think it's the best lining of the mind you can get. I think it trains you in all sorts of things. It trains you in ordering words. It trains you in images. It gives you tremendous self-confidence. You can lean back on that when you have to. I felt a funeral in my brain, and mourners to and fro kept treading, treading, till it seemed that sense was breaking through. Now that brings us to one of your, your rules in your book, which is how valuable it is, A, to read poetry slowly, and B, to read it aloud. So why slowly and why aloud? Well, poets put poems together very slowly, and the words um, are all kind of balanced and shaped um, like a beautiful object, and they need to be looked at, inspected, felt in the mouth, in the eyes, and of course with the intellect, but mostly with the emotion. There is a comfort in the strength of love. I would just wonder if there's something very primitive about reading aloud and stresses and poetry. Well, totally, because all it is is breath. Breath. We're talking about breathing. Mm. That's what yes. reading aloud is, and that's connected with my heartbeat, it's connected with everything else. It's an essential part of the condition by which I live. And so I'm breathing words and saying them aloud adds to the store of knowledge, but also connects absolutely with what's in you. Yes, it's like being sort of verbally stroked in a way. You, you sort of, the words sort of almost stroke you. As virtuous men pass mildly away and whisper to their souls to go, I think the thing that first got me about this poem was probably the way it sounded. And it's this very, very calm as virtuous men pass mildly. It's very measured, yeah. isn't it? It's very, very measured. measured. Away, away, for I will fly to thee. Part of the pleasure of poetry is the crunch and feel of words in your mouth and uh, as they hit the tip of the tongue and they, they resound. And tis believed by all, then many and many a day he thither went and never lifted up a single stone.